Hi, this is Frank Thomas, www.ubotjunkie.com. I'm here today to show you a licensing bot that I have created. And let me, before I get into it, to explain what this is all about and why I made it. I write quite a few bots for different customers, and uh, you know, most people are honest, and once they've tried a bot, they'll pay you for it, and everything's good. But every once in a while, you're going to get somebody who is going to um, have you create a bot and they're going to want to try it before you, they pay and that, that's reasonable, they want to see it working and they'll get the bot and basically you've given them the product and you have no way to protect yourself against abuse on that product. Well today I'm here to tell you that I've created a very simple bot to well I guess it's not terribly simple but uh, it does run very well it's designed to simply check the date on the person's computer the first time the bot is run um, it will create a instance, a cookie, on that person's machine as well as check the date and this will ensure against two things. First of all, it will ensure that you know if you set an end date of let's say 30 days from now the bot will stop running uh, by that 30 date period and if they try to run the bot you can have your bot set up that uh, it will just shut off, it just basically stops running or else uh, secondarily if they start to fool with the date like if they move the date back to, to try to get more use out of it uh, the bot will also recognize that and stop running as well okay so basically I've tried to make it as painful as possible for a potential thief to actually steal your bot this bot does require JavaScript it is uh, runs a lot of JavaScript in the background but the good thing about that is uh, you get a lot of power, a lot of functionality, and the user does not see anything except for um, alert messages that come up. Right now, you'll see on my screen here, I have compiled the bot, and uh, there's three routines in here. When you actually use the bot, you'll not have this. Okay. The first one here is the actual uh, routine itself, that is the actual licensing sub routine which you will install right in within your code. The second is a uh, special delete cookie so if somebody has fooled around and you want to give them another bot so that they can reset the cookie and delete it then it will remove the cookie and you, you'll have this code as well. But uh, the one I want to show you here was one called My Cool Program. Now this program basically will flash up and start and check our licensing status. So let me just run the bot for you. So as you can see, it immediately jumped to the UBOT blog site, and that's what I wanted in the very beginning. Next thing it does is it comes forward and tells me that I only have three days left before the program expires. I've designed this bot when I wrote it and compiled it that the date of expiry was three days from now. Okay, so let's say, there you go, so you got three days before the program expires, and you say okay and the bot can continue to run and the message after is actually uh, going to a Google page showing you just the Google page. Very simple bot. Secondarily I've also put up here so you can see that the license comes back with the status of valid. Now let's say you have a user that's a little bit sneaky thinking ah, I can get another week out of this. Let me open my time settings. Now as you can see right now it's the 23rd of April 2010. I'm going to move the date back to the 20th, thinking that I can get a little bit of extra time. So I'm going to go right and run the bot again. Okay, immediately comes up and says the date on your PC has been altered. Please set the date back to the proper date for this program to function. Okay, so you select OK. I'm going to go back in the date and time. And go back and set it back to the 23rd. If I run the bot again, and as you can see the Google page did not come up. Okay, you see that the bot starts to work again. Well, what happens if uh, I have three more days? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, the 28th. Let's say they've come back on the 28th and they want to run the bot. Okay, it goes to the UBOT page. Okay, the license on this program has expired. Okay, and you see the bot has just stopped and it did not go to the Google page. And it, like I said, it's a very simple bot, it is designed to do exactly this and uh, protect your program and let you create viral bots that you can continue to release and people can continue to use. Okay, let me just change the date back here to the 23rd. Okay. Now, 
this is one thing too. Now this program is very very critical and it does check to make sure that the people aren't sending the date back for any reason whatsoever. And this is why I've given you the delete function bot, bot is part of the package here. Because I've moved the date back as you can see every time I run the program it rechecks and rewrites that cookie to ensure that it shows the last time this bot was run. Because if the person's using it as they should the date stamp should never go back in time, should always go forward in time. So I'm just going to go to the delete cookie and run it. Nothing happens. Um, you can set that up any way you want to. I'm going to go back to my cool program. Okay, as you can see the bot was showing the license is expired and that's what we want. And you can see everything starts to work again. So you can easily disable that feature as well. Again this is a secondary script that you're going to have as part of the check license script. Let's take a look at those right now. So this is that program that I was running. Basically it navigates to the UBOT blog site, runs a simple set. You're setting a local variable and you're running the subroutine and you will place the da da date license check subroutine right in with your bot and it will return a value of valid or expired. At that point you can decide what if it's expired you can just stop the script or you know another thing you could do is you can redirect them to a page saying hey I see your script has died or I see your bot no longer functions how would you like to get the full bot or how would you like to extend your your uh, your experience or whatever you decide you know it's really up to you and that allows you to create a sale on the back end of the bot which is very nice uh, secondarily, you also have a navigation page. This is if everything was great and it didn't stop the script. As you can see, we go to the Google page. How do you use this? Okay, there's the, the delete bot there. As you can see, it's written in JavaScript and uh, simple to use. Uh, but let's look at the actual license here. This is the check license script. Here I was testing, I was just basically, this is how you'd run it if you don't want to get the return value. But when you're actually running it, I'm not going to show you the whole bot. Of course, I don't want to give away the uh, secret sauce, so to speak. But uh, what's happening here is you can either set the date, leave this, these will come as exactly as you see it. I left this on the 26th so you can see, or it can be nothing. This is the end day and month and year, so this would be the 26th. If it's nothing, the bot will automatically select the month and the year that is currently happening right now. Okay, and like I said, once the bot is run once, it will check these things to make sure everything's kosher. Okay, I would recommend that you set all three of these fields. I purposely leave them to that, and it's very simple. Once you you right click, you copy the subroutine, you plunk it into your bot at the very bottom, you set it up so you run the subroutine just like this and then just do a simple if statement. It's the simplest way to do it. You're pretty much done. Now you'll have four settings to make in this and I recommend that you do set it. Okay, you would set the day, the month, and the year. Very simple to do. You can right click, insert, insert string. Okay, and let's say I want this to expire on the 30th, 2010 and you can make this bot last as long as you want. The cookie is designed to last one full year so you know if you're setting up a license and you want the, the, the system to expire you know you can change the cookie length and I'll explain that in the instructions when you purchase and the final thing you're setting here is you're actually setting the name of the cookie that's going to be set in the system. Now I recommend again that you set this for every bot that you create let's say you create one certain type of bot set this value okay and just leave it when you create another bot, set this to a new value. That way your potential user could run one, two, three, or four of your bots and they're not going to conflict with each other. Thank you very much. Frank Thomas, www.ubotjunkie.com.